Right, quick video. Pretty much the same as last year's C9 video, to be honest. Slightly different on the wall mounting. So this is the LG OLED 55CX, whereas this is 200 by 300. So nothing fancy necessary for this. I know it's an expensive TV, but as long as you get a wall bracket from a reputable manufacturer, it should be more than adequate. So I've got a Harmer here. Uh, I'll put the link in the description. Nothing special, just a standard fixed flat wall bracket because it's going flat on my wall. So that's the plate that will be attached to the wall. Two arms here as well. These will be attached to the TV so they will just hook on and then you can slide it a bit side to side although you'd put it central anyway. But if you need to move it, you can. And it will just hook off again. Tabs there that can be pushed up two screws if they show up to be tightened just to secure it so nobody knocks it off it may work for anti-theft as well I wouldn't chance it for that um, so you get your screw pack with your brackets for the OLED CX they are six mil screws so I'm just using there they're about 10 mil m6 screws that go into those threaded holes go into the threaded holes without me dropping them okay, so all I shall do is these arms onto the back here like so so you see where my holes are so I've got one hole there I just wind them in loosely with my fingers first so still loose there and all I do is pull the slack up as I tighten the screw up so it can't slide on there because that's as far down as it can go and then just nip the top screw up as well just check that's tight there we go same for the other side and again as I nip these screws up just lift that slack up and then both arms are the same as well because if I've got one with the slack down, one up, the TV is going to be tilted. Okay, nip that one up there. And that is it. The other thing is you can get lower profile wall brackets so they'll be tighter to the television. Only thing is with the CX, the aerial goes in horizontally into the back of the TV and the satellite does and the wired internet or ethernet does. USBs and is there an HDMI? HDMI 4 also goes in that way so if it's too flat and tight to the wall you're going to struggle getting those connections in or it's going to make the TV push out towards the bottom so idea is this plate will be on the wall and it will just hook on. Okay, so from the bottom of the TV to the bottom of my bracket is about 38 centimetres or 15 inches. Also, I've got it attached to the pedestal while I'm mounting it. If you've just got it out of the box and there's two of you, lay it flat on the box with the protective cloth on there. Attach your arms that way and get your dimension, it'll probably be easier. Um, so my idea is I'm going to mount this to the wall next at the appropriate height. Um, and then I'm going to undo my pedestal screws there, lift it off straight onto the wall. I had a B9 and C9 mounted here last year, similar position anyway. So I know my plates go in there. I've got a line, don't know if it shows up, but it's here where the bottom of the TV wants to be. And with my tape measure, I know I want to be 38 centimetres up to the bottom of my bracket, which is there. You can see there I've got some screws from one of the previous TVs so this is a MDF wall so all you would do is maybe pierce it pre-drill it and screw straight in for me I've already got screw threads there so I can just put my screw straight back in But whatever the wall is, make sure you've got the appropriate fixing. If it's a brick or a breeze block wall, so say you've got plasterboard, 
little cavity, then breeze block or thermal blocks, whatever they put in nowadays. I would use concrete screws, so you drill a pilot hole. I'll put a link in the description so you can have a look, see what they are. But again, I use them for brick as well. I don't like the um, big bolts with the raw plugs. I always find them, you could pull the TV away. So concrete screws would be best with it. This is wood, so I've just got wood screws. All I'm gonna do is nick one of them up. So I can get the level on the top and nip that up somewhere level. Off a bit. So nip that up there. And there. Okay, so that's the plate there on the wall. TV is literally going to hook on, so those two arms hook on there. That's my wiring, so I've got a four-way mains there that will sit behind because there's a massive void behind the um, behind the OLED where that can sit for it to plug into so I don't have to chop the mains plug off. I've got aerial wide internet and an optical there for a solar soundbar. Okay, so I would recommend a two-man lift. Oops, I haven't got two men today. So it feels like it hooked on. All I'm going to do is give it a quick side, side to side, just to ensure I'm on that rail. I can even poke my head behind and just double check there. Brilliant. Brill. So the cables are hanging down. I'll get it connected up and we can turn it on while it's on there as well. You all like to see it from the side. I will measure. That's coming off the wall from the wall to the front of the TV. That's 75 mil or three inches. Okay, so I'm just trying to attempt to get a side view of it. So you can see the thinness or thickness of the screen there. And that is it from the side. Doesn't show up very well. Lighting could be better. Let me see if I can just add some light on my phone torch. Well, that's the side anyway. You can just see those arms and the rail there. It shows up. So back to the Peely Peely. Should have a nice immaculate screen underneath. 